Hello, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Here's what the box looks like. And that's the spelling of Gabby's name. The website is theschifferbooks.com, I believe. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you're interested. Schiffer, yep. Yeah. Port of Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. It's illustrated by Jesse Reich, and then I believe there's a website at the bottom there, hayhouse.com, if you're interested. And the dice, I use a 22-sided dice for the Major Arcana. I substitute 22 for 0 for the Fool, and then I use a 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana, and then a 4-sided dice to decide the element. Those dice, I believe they all came because I got an updated one from this place where I think it's Math Art Fun, I believe. I can't see it on the camera myself right now, but hopefully you can see the website if you want to check it out. I believe it's Math Art Fun. Math Art Fun, yep. All right, that being said, uh, if you want a reading from me, shoot me an email. James for Astral at gmail.com. This is James the number four, Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much, and let's go on to your read. Hello, Libra. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for when you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Libra? You had the Page of Coins, Page of Pentacles, Page of Earth, if you will follow upside down when I was shuffling. Um, there may be somebody who's not, they're not helpful, but they won't stop. There's, it's like they're doing something the wrong way. It's almost like, you know, it's like they keep going to the wrong store and picking up the wrong items. It's, it, it's, it feels like that to me. And it's kind of like, we have to address that and kind of stop it if we want things to go better. Um, there's somebody here, I, I feel like they're doing the wrong thing. And they keep doing the wrong thing. The thing is, how do we get them to stop doing the wrong thing? Um, this might be an energy that you get along with. At the very least, it, 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 they're not, their effort is not adding to the situation. So, for example, if this is a work situation, it's almost like whatever they're doing it has to constantly be reworked. Or it's kind of like... It reminds me of like working at an insurance firm and it's like if you're doing 10 policies a day and then like three or four of them are wrong and then they have to be reworked, it's kind of like technically you're not even getting you're not even getting seven in because all the rework that has to go back into it, you, you, you get less than that. So it's almost like this person is spending all day and all the effort they're putting in is it's, it's less than seven every day and they're supposed to be doing 10. It's just not working. Um, it's like the effort is not going where it should. The, there's, a, there's a lot of effort, but it's, it's a lot of wasted effort. And it's actually causing double work, um, which is not good. You know what I mean? It's not good. Um, it's like making a dinner and burning half of it. It's kind of like, well, now we don't have enough for everybody. And we have to also, like, we wasted money. And now we have to make something extra. So it's taking more time. So that's also taking up more money. Like... Yeah, it's getting on my nerves already. <laughs> so I feel like in the beginning I thought it was a learning curve. Maybe that's this connection here. I thought it was a learning curve. I didn't really know what was going on here. I thought maybe they're just improving with time. Maybe they'll get better. And it's it's not getting better. It's not getting better. So it's kind of like, how do I need to address this? What do I need to do? Because I feel like I like this person, but this isn't working well. And I, I kind of like... You know, for example, if this was a business and this was a cook, it's kind of like maybe they shouldn't be a cook. Could I move them into a different position? Or is there, do we have to say goodbye? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. This isn't working. I don't know what I need to do with it. Um, and it, like, getting along with this energy, you're not going to have any improvement. And I feel like I'm trying to get along with them. But if I keep going the way I've been going, I'm not going to get improvement. It's peaceful, but it's not going to change. When I see this um, Knight of Pentacles, 
The Knight of Pentacles typically has three different ways of handling things. They either stay, they stay the same, or they get gradually worse and just get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse over time, or they get better and they get better and better and better and better and slowly better. This isn't going better. Of the three choices, it's not going better. This is either staying the same or it's slowly getting worse. Um, it's better to handle this now rather than, rather than later. Um, because the longer this goes, the worse it's going to get. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this situation. I'm using cooking as an analogy. Um, but the fact of like, the thought of like cooking a meal for, for people and then half of it burning and having to be thrown out and then having to make something else afterwards, it's not only the time it's taking to fix it. It's There's a lot of wasted money here that I, it's almost like I feel like we can't afford that. And there's other people around this situation. They don't understand what's really going on, but you might be considered part of the problem. Be aware of that. People might be nice to your face, but they might be seeing you as part of the problem. I don't know why that's happening. It depends what you're dealing with. I feel like if this reading is hitting, they just want you to be aware of it. You might be starting to looked at, be looked at as part of the problem. We can't have this. You don't want this. You definitely don't. Um, you are aware of what's going on. It's just how do we, how do you handle it diplomatically is what you're trying to do. Um, the Seven of Wands is like it's holding the line, not letting things in that you don't want in. But also the world is saying there's a change happening one way or another. Somebody else is the problem. I get that it's somebody else is the problem. And the way this is going... Take it with a grain of salt. This is this one's kind of brutal. It's either handle the problem and get rid of it, or somebody else will handle the problem and you'll go and you'll be thrown out with the problem. That's that's rough. Um, it needs to be handled. It, this isn't working. This needs to be handled. I feel like you're trying to find a peaceful resolution to this. You're trying to find something like maybe we could do it this way, maybe we could do it that way. You're, you're, I feel like I'm trying to like find different ways for this person to not burn food. But no matter what I do, if it's not burnt, it's like there's so much salt in it that it's not edible and we still have to remake it. Or, you know, it's it's it, it's put out on the table or the, the meat was left out too long and it turns out that the, the meat was, you know, got people sick. It's like no matter what I do, and I feel like you've tried a, di a few different ways to fix this, it's just not working. I hate to be this brutal with it, but I really feel like it's like you either have to get in there and fix it or you're going to get thrown away with it. I keep getting that. I'm not a Sunshine and Rainbows reader. I don't think of myself as a doom and gloom reader either, but it's kind of feeling like it. Um, it's time to deal with it. It's time to fix it before you get blamed along with it because I feel like that's where this is going. Um, you're trying to make the best out of this. You're trying to look out for somebody else too, but it's kind of like it's either them or you and them. It's not it's not one or the other. It's not like that. It's either they go or you both go. It's kind of I keep getting that. Whatever's going on here, they don't want me to like sugarcoat it in any sense. If this reading is hitting, you know what it's about. Um, if it's not hitting, then it's not hitting. It's a general read, you know what I mean? Um, the stress is coming in on this. Oh, boy. Somebody, that death card is showing up and the world card was there too. So when both of these show up, there's a change. One way or another, the change is going. Um, and it just seems like when it's coming in, when somebody else has made their decision to fix it, I don't think they're listening to reason. You can't talk to it afterwards. It's just kind of like, it, it makes me feel like this is when I show up in the morning to the office and they're like, hey, we want to come talk to you over here. And then next thing I know, they're handing me a box with all my stuff in it. They're like, no, we already made our decision. You know, this is just the exit interview. You're just done. Um, I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that's fair. I'm just saying if this reading is hitting, this is where I see it going. Before it gets there, because I feel like it's already in this weird stagnant place where things aren't really improving. You're already there. Don't do this on your own. You don't have to do this on your own. Okay, you don't have to do this on your own. Keep that in mind. But what they're saying is like, if you're, this seems like it's something, if this reading is hitting, it is something you're struggling with is what I'm getting. Add somebody else in and have them 
help you devise a plan on how we're going to like finish this off because it needs to be corrected and it needs to a part of this is going to end again it's either they go or you go with them it's either one person leaves or you're going with them and i don't think you want that take it with a grain of salt if this reading is either hitting or it's not at this point that's a brutal one though isn't it you it doesn't have to be stressful when you bring somebody else in i don't think it has to be stressful um what will also happen so like if we say this is a restaurant a lot of things get burnt things don't get things don't get you know cooked correctly this all this other stuff it's kind of like all right we got to get rid of this cook they're not working it's just not working this is becoming more of a liability i do feel like there's there are some difficult conversations afterwards if you do help remove that energy I don't think they're like horrible conversations, but they're uncomfortable. Okay, they're uncomfortable. But there's going to be like this way to handle things differently. I feel like somebody will help you and help you find a different way to handle things. Libra is very, very open to doing things differently. You guys are very open to change. Whatever this is, I know this feels brutal. This feels really brutal. I feel like you were trying to be really nice. You were trying to be very diplomatic. You were trying to be as fair as you possibly could. For whatever reason, it just didn't work out this time. And, like, this is true of every sign, of every person, not for nothing. There just goes times where it just doesn't go our way, and we, we thought it would work out, and then we find out, you know what, it just wasn't working out the way we thought it would. Uncomfortable conversations. You tried your best. There's new ideas coming into you. Somebody, uncomfortable, again, uncomfortable conversations, different ways to handle things, different ways to do things roll with it and this situation can be fine i don't feel like you have to have this issue in this situation again um there's a different way to do things libras in my opinion libras are open to change i feel like libras are very honest with themselves too kind of like all right that didn't work that didn't work out i've gotten some new ideas if i take these new ideas i'll get the support with these new ideas let me try it let me see how it works i'll give it a roll i'll give it a try this situation doesn't have to be this rough again. And I feel like going forward, you're going to find you have more support than you expected. Taking that advice, of course. This one, wow. I just, I don't know. I do get the, like, if you're able to roll with the punches and, like, move, on, move this energy on by itself and you get to stay, once you get past... Once you get past those uncomfortable conversations, I do feel like you have a success that you weren't expecting. You also have support you weren't expecting. It's a complete turnaround from the situation. Um, I keep getting, though, also, in case in case I didn't say it, I, I'm pretty sure I did, though. You seem to be blamed for something that I don't think is your fault. Whoever's failing in this situation, I don't know if they're talking negatively about you or why this is happening this way but it seems like their failure is starting to be your blame like people are blaming you for their failure for this other person's failure i don't really feel like that's fair but i also feel like after this is all sorted out and everything is going differently i feel like it's obvious that you know you were you were never a bad part of the situation it just takes time for that to kind of work out in the wash so maybe that's why this is bothering me because i feel like you're getting blamed for somebody else somebody else's problems like somebody else is doing something wrong it feels like you're getting blamed for it for me that's what i keep getting um that's another reason they're like i feel like you're trying to help somebody that like doesn't deserve your help and i don't think you see it at this point maybe you haven't seen it that way but it's kind of like i'm on friendly terms with them i don't think they would say anything nasty about me but maybe they are i don't know what's going on here you were getting blamed for something that's not your fault is what i keep getting and before it takes you down Let's rewrite the story. Let's take this a different direction. Again, there's some uncomfortable conversations. That might be why some of those conversations are uncomfortable, just to be fair. Because I kept looking at it and, like, something feels a little off. Maybe that's why some of these conversations are uncomfortable because it's you're starting to realize what people were blaming you for that was not your fault. It was just literally not your fault, but for some reason it looked like it was. And then that's what you have to talk to, and it's very uncomfortable to realize I was helping somebody that I thought deserved my help, but maybe they didn't. Keep that in mind. Take it with a grain of salt. I feel a little bit better about it because I'm just like, why are we being so brutal to Libra? Like, why? <laughs> why is this so brutal for Libra? 
I feel like this is also an, an, a learning curve, kind of like maybe we need to look a little closer. It's good to help people. It's good to be fair. Yes, Libra balances the scales. But maybe it's also every now and then we got to look a little closer and make sure that we give people help that deserve our help. People who are like throwing mud at you or like stabbing you in the back when you're not looking, those people don't deserve your help and you shouldn't be giving those people your help. If they're not honoring you, don't do not do things for people that don't honor you. You know what I'm saying? So maybe looking a little closer, maybe this is a part of why this is a little bit uncomfortable. They're like, well, they want you to see this for what it is so that you don't become somebody else's scapegoat. At least not again. Anything else? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and you have a great day.